hi guys welcome back today we are making the down part of this gown which is a mermaid cut with a tail it's a very beautiful and easy style to cut but the drape of your fabric or the softness of your fabric will determine how it would come out or how nicely it will lie on your skin so we first start by folding in our fabric we are making use of three and a half yards of fabric so we fold our fabric maybe inside by 20 inches and then we take our, our waist to hip measurement which is 10 and then we take our waist to knee which is 19 then we take our hip measurement which is 40 so um, 40 divided by 4 since we are is on fold is divided by four so it will be 10 and then we take our knee for the knee measurements you can take two inches out of the hip measurements to get the knee um measurement okay so afterwards you connect the line from your waist to your hip and from the hip to the knee like how i am doing it like I said earlier, the drape or the the silkiness, if I should say, of this style is dependent on how soft or how well your fabric you are using drapes. I'm going to make two make use of two different fabrics here. This fabric is cotton and it doesn't drip much. So it looks you're going to see how it looks at the end of the day. And the one that was more softer how it also looks okay so now after i connect the knee then i connect to the down part which is the 20 inch because the whole fold was on 20 inch because i want the down part to be wide so i connect it from the knee to the corner or the last point of the fold and then i add my sewing allowance on the sides which is about one and a half inch or two inch you can make use of one inch and I cut all through okay so this is how it looks for the front part after this we are going to place the front part on the back part and cut now, so after cutting the front we place it, we fold the leftover of the fabric into two. Whatever is left, we are going to make use of it all. So we fold it into two and then we lay the front piece on it. Now, when we lay the front piece on it, we have to make sure the side of the front piece is matching the side of the fold. Because we are going to cut that one together exactly the same. Now, the only shape we are going to take from the back is from the center back where there's um, the zipper mm -hmm. allowance or where we are going to place it. that is the only portion or place that we are going to make a different shape so as you're seeing this is the center front of the front piece laid and then I'm taking the back piece or the back I'm drawing the back from the center piece of the front if you understand what I'm trying to say so where you see me drawing the line will be the center back okay so that is my zipper line that i've drawn i decided to shape the back a little to give volume to our bump at the back so on the hip line from the back i added half inch to it so i extended it by half an inch and then i connected it to the knee where the knee is and then i joined it to the corner you see the allowance in front i connected it downwards to the corner and then i added my zipper allowance guys i hope you understand what i'm trying to say if you don't understand just leave me a comment and then i'll explain where you were not getting so now I just cut the sides of the back. 
I, I really wish I could have used a contrasting fabric so you could see it clearer but this is what I had so I had to make use of this so we've cut the back side now we are cutting the center back that is where the zip is so that is where you are going to add the um, the extra flow at the back bear in mind that from the style the back is really flowing so this is how it looks now we i spoke about a tail i said this has a tail so now we're going to create the tail to create the tail we use a leftover of the fabric that we cut out and then we line it up with the center back so this is just an extension of the center back. So we are just going to create an extension, which we are going to attach. If um, our fabric was enough, let's say five or more yards, then we could have cut this together. But since it is not enough, we decided to make the tail out of the leftover fabric when we cut the back, what was left. So we line it up and then we'll take another slant or slope down to the corner. So that is going to be our tail that we're going to attach to the back center back. After attaching it, this is how it looks. After sewing them together, this is how it looks. As you can see, it is nice all right but it is not relaxed as we want it or as i want it to be this is because our fabric that we use has no drip at all it's full cotton so in other for it to be relaxed on the body you would have to notch all the sides around the knee to make it more relaxed to make the fabric more relaxed on the body so we're going to notch or create little cuts on the knee area all around to relax it now this is the second fabric this is a softer lace which has or comes with its own drip so it makes it more relaxed on the skin this trust me we didn't notch anywhere but it was as 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 dripping as we wanted it so the clue here is when making this kind of style, make sure your fabric is soft enough or has so much drip so that it comes out as beautiful as possible. Thank you for watching. Bye.